Hi, and welcome back to Perpetual Fitness Training. My name is Holly. Thank you for joining me today. I have a fun workout for us today. We are going to have some cardio and strength all in one. We're going to do it in 60 minutes. This time, I promise. And we have these little mini bands to use. These are great bands. <clears throat> I like to use them because they travel super easy. They don't take up a lot of space in your home and they're inexpensive. Now, if you don't have a mini band, you can use anything from a traditional long band. You can also use weights and just kind of sub in some different moves, which I will try to show you. You also um, can use those physio bands that you get like at the physical therapist. If you go and do the physical therapy stuff, you can use those bands as well. They work great. You may just have to tie them off to make the circle around your legs, but those will work as well. So go ahead and grab your water, grab your towel, and let's begin. Hey, really quick, I actually finished this workout already and I was on my way to my appointment when I realized I forgot to talk about the band safety. So this is my safety announcement. This is an old band that I used to have. It's really important that you inspect your bands before you use the bands. And the reason being, you get these little tears or these little holes in them. And if you don't notice them and you're stretching out the band, it can actually break and it can come back with quite a bit of force and it can smack you. Not only does it hurt, but it can actually cause quite a bit of injury. So this band looks great. You know, you even inspect it and it looks fine. But as soon as I start pulling on it, suddenly this hole appeared out of nowhere. So I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's this, this hole right here. So I had to inspect my band before I used it and that's when I found it. So it's very important that you inspect those bands before you begin this workout. I don't want anybody to get hurt. So this concludes my safety announcement. All right, let's go ahead and start with that warm up. Let's just start with that easy knee up march. Tummy's tight, starting to breathe deeper. Make sure you have that music on nice and loud. You'll <clears throat> have to excuse me today. We're having allergies today, and they kind of keep it <laughs> stuck in my throat. So, whew, hopefully, I won't have an asthma attack. All right, let's bring those knees a little bit higher. Swing those arms a little bit more. Really focus on pulling the air to the bottom of the lung. Perfect, just a few more seconds here. And let's go ahead and squat. Feet hip width apart, stay in the heels, squeeze your glutes at the top. So we're not pulling up on those kneecaps, we're squeezing those glutes. Keep it shallow, right? We're just warming up, just getting into it. A little bit more. Squeeze down. Squeeze. One more. And let's lunge back. Just a baby drop of the knee. Not anything big. Gotta warm up those legs today. Your legs get a really good workout. Really, we're focusing on that glute through these bands. <coughs> and back. I really love this workout, not only because you get the cardio and the strength all in one, but I really like to use bands. All right, one more on each side. Turn back toward me, knee up and open, and then bring it close. So we're burning up through the hip now. <coughs> you can take this as fast or as slow as you like. Looks like our airplanes are joining us this morning. Switch legs. Bring it up and in. Still breathing deep. Psyching yourself up for this workout. Sometimes you have to do that. Sometimes 90% of your workout is just showing up. And last one. Arms out into the letter T. We're just going to take that straight leg. All right, remember, we're keeping that upper body high. We're not dropping it toward the floor. <clears throat> Balance again. As we're tight, lift that heart. Good. 
We have just a couple more here. All right, let's do those modified jumping jacks. Arms out to the side. <clears throat> Breathe in deep. And then remember, arms can be here if you're working with maybe a shoulder injury. If taking them overhead is too much. You can also do something different. Maybe you want to take those arms back. It's your workout. You get to pick. You should start to feel that heart rate coming up. Starting to get a little hot. Maybe just a little sweat. Three, two, and one. Perfect. Let's go ahead and grab a band. So I'm going to grab a heavy band uh, because this is going to be legs, right? So we want to really work the legs. I'm so glad I didn't fall putting that on. <laughs> okay, so you want to fit this just above the knee. I do recommend that you wear pants or like capris and not shorts with bands. I have found that when I wear the shorts, it just kind of bites into my skin. <clears throat> oh, we need a timer. So doing cardio 30 seconds, four times. We just get a five second break. That's really just fast enough to switch to that other exercise. So the first one we're going to do, we're going to be high knees and then some skaters, okay? Ah, it's gonna be harder with this band, but that's okay. Three, uh-oh, I forgot to turn on the volume, hold on. I want you to be able to hear it. Okay, here we go. Four, three. <coughs> All right, high knees, bring it up. And I want you to really pull those knees up. This is only 30 seconds. This is what gets that heart rate up. Of course, you're also going to start feeling those legs pretty quick. Doesn't take long. Breathe. Keep that heart up. And if you need to slow this down, just do what you can. Maybe you're doing it without the bands. That's fine too. You can do all the cardio without the bands. All right, skaters. So we're just going to step behind. Big step to the other side. Move those arms. Bring that heart rate up even higher. <coughs> <laughs> Keep it going. I'm just going to slowly walk myself off his mat. I don't want to slide. Four, three, two. All right, we're going to go back to that march. Here we go. Knees up. through purse lips. Good, good. Keep it going. Higher with those knees if you can. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. All right, if that band starts creeping, just readjust it here. All right, skaters. behind. Now remember, you can jump here if you like, but for those of us that are true low impact, you keep your feet planted. Always one foot on the floor. Ten seconds. I know you're feeling those legs. Oh, I'm stretched. <laughs> Pick your feet up, Molly. Pick your feet up. Back to the mat. Here we go. Easy. Breathe. Good. Bring those knees a little higher. I know you're getting tired, but I want you to keep lifting them higher, swinging those arms. Ten seconds. this video, then you need to start doing the cardio without the band. And that's just fine. Or maybe lighten the band. Good. 
Good. Sight where you're gonna land. One more time through. Here we go, knees up. Oh. Last time, right? This one's easy for the other one, I think. All right, you should be breathing heavy. This is where you have to lip sync to your music. You shouldn't be able to see right now. Five seconds. Okay. Here we go. Last one. Keep it wide. You can take it out. Grab some water. Maybe mop off. Okay, we're moving into strength. So I'm going to grab my red band. For me, this one's heavy. We're going to do some lat rows. So choose a, a heavier band, but give it a give it a go first, right? So this is the move we're doing. Okay, shoulder blades need to stay down. Arms do not have to be totally straight. They can have a little bend, right? So we're gonna start with the right. Shoulders down, tuck your tailbone, tummy tight. Bring that elbow toward the rib. The other hand is just resisting, which will give it a workout too. But I want you to focus on the arm that's moving. Shoulder blade down. Exhale as you pull that elbow to the ribs. You are going directly lateral. You're not moving into that forward plane at all. To the side, to the side. Three. All right, I like to let the blood flow back in. Show the blades down, tummy tight, tuck your tailbone. Oh. Good. Now you wanna to try to keep your grip loose. When you use the bands, I tend to find my clients really get a death grip. And I want you to just try to keep the fingers loose. We don't want to overwork the forearm. Five, three, two, one. All right, so your alternative, if you're using weights, is to do a seated lat roll. Big exhale. Strangely, my left is stronger than my right. <laughs> That's what I like about doing these unilateral, that means one at a time, is I can really figure out where I'm weak, what I need to work on. Usually my right is stronger because I'm right-handed. <sighs> but not this time. <sighs> <clears throat> Arms up, shoulder blades down, tummy tight, here we go. <sighs> Good work in that left. A little bend to the knees. We have soft knees, a little soft elbow. You don't want a locked elbow. So it's either bent or it's just soft. Whew. Sure hope you're feeling that burn. So you can feel it anywhere. It could be in the back of that working arm. It can be in the triceps, especially the arm that's resisting. Here we go. Shoulder blades down, tummy tight. Slight tuck of that tailbone, soften your knees. <sighs> Exhale as you pull down. <sighs> slow it down if you need to. <sighs> I'd rather you go slow than fast. Fast, you build momentum. And I really want you to work these bands. So not only in the down, but then the resist coming back up. Both phases of movement. <sighs> Shoulder blades down. <sighs> Soft elbows. <sighs> Lay down, tummy tight, here we go, soft knees. 
keys. All right, you're just gonna push through as much as you can. I really want you to try to work those arms equally, but you may be noticing about now what is stronger than the other. That's okay, All right? That's what we're working on, balance. We want balance, not only with our eating, but with our exercise, with our rest and relaxation. It's all about balance. Release. Okay, last time through, here we go. Right, perfect. Your perfect is 100% of your effort today. That's what I call perfect. There is no absolute perfect. It's just what you can do today to the best of your ability. You're just trying to get stronger, support that body, be able to live a long, healthy life. Four, three, two, one. <clears throat> Shut the legs down. Here we go. I do love living in South Central Texas, except during the summer. <laughs> I'm from Washington State originally, so it's a bit hot and humid for me here, but what's really getting me this year is my allergies. I have asthma, and they're induced by allergies, and then working out. So I've been really struggling with my asthma this year. <sighs> I don't know why it's different this year than any other, but it is. <sighs> One more. Ugh. Excellent. Shake it out, grab some water real quick. We're not taking much time in between. So get ready to move. Let me go ahead and show you what's up next. We have the running man. All right, so right knee's gonna come up fast as you can. Belly is tight. You're pushing your hips back. Your glutes are just slightly tucked under so that tummy's nice and tight. Okay, so no rounding here. You are free to do here. Okay, you can also hold on to a wall if balance is an issue. Let's go ahead and begin. Five, four, right leg back. Bend in that front knee. Begin. I want you to really pull that knee up. Like you're trying to knee somebody that's in front of you. And hurt them. <laughs> Breathe. Sit in the heel of this front left leg. Fast as you can, comfortably. Remember, you can take the band off. Four, three, two, one, switch. Ooh, that front leg gets you. All right, here we go. Left. Keep that breathing steady. Focus on the breath. Keep those abs tight. So if you're doing the full version here, this is the full version, but you can come up and jump if you want to make it a little harder, uh, a lot harder. Who's feeling who? Here we go. All right, remember to jab that knee forward, trying to hurt that person in front of you. Try to keep that neck in line. So you're looking out in front of the foot. We have 10 seconds. starts to go so really check in with that body check your back check your abs swing those arms forward. You want it to be. All right, pump those arms like you're running a sprint. Ten seconds. Four. Take extra time. 
time if you need it. Otherwise, let's go. That's in. Come on, keep moving. You never stop moving. Don't worry about back foot's all over the place. <laughs> Mine's kind of going to rear. It's about the movement. Five. All right, one more time. You can do it. One more time each side. Here we go. Listen to your body. If you're getting dizzy, nauseous, you need to step away. Slow it down. Catch your breath. Get back in it when you feel better. Ten seconds. Do not look out so hard to puke. That's for Olympians. There's no need to do that. All right, here we go. Again. Breathe. Knee up. Use that belly to pull that knee up. Brace that core. Staying in the front left heel. Ten seconds. Five. Almost there. Keep going. Push. 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 Ouch. All right. Just mop off real quick. Grab some water. Okay. So for this next one, I'm going to use my blue band. So this one is light. A lot of the bands will come with stamped on there what they are. These ones are light because we're going to do a rear delt squeeze. So we're just going to pull that arm away. Okay. The other one is staying forward. I'm going to turn sideways so that you can see. All right. Grab your band. Definitely a little bit on the lighter side. Palms in. I take the palms away. Shoulder blades down. Let's go ahead and just start. Pressing one hand away. Turn a little bit more so you can see better here. Slowly I'm getting all these camera angles. <laughs> this is all new to me, so y'all have to put up with my learning curve. I appreciate you being here doing that. As you push that arm away, you're squeezing those shoulder blades together. Squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. Right. You don't want to bring those shoulder blades up, which is Hard to do. Push those shoulder blades down. Your tailbone is tucked. I went a little low there. Try to keep it parallel to the floor. So I pulled down. That allows other muscles to help out. And that's not what I'm working on. I'm trying to work the muscles right in between the shoulder blades. Oh, they're called your rhomboids. That whole group of muscles right back there is what helps to counter your chest. So these ones tend to be very weak on people. And that's where you get the rounded back. This, especially because we are at the computer all the time. So, kind of fastidious about working these muscles. Shoulder blades down. If you need to slow it down, and then maybe take a break. Push, maybe push, maybe take a break. Your workout, you have to do what works for you. But I want you to feel the burn, and I want you to stay with that burn as long as you can. It's very easy to kind of feel the burn and then stop. But the burn is the change. So the more you hold it, the more change you're going to feel it, the longer you hold it. And again, another arm. Shoulder blades down. Squeeze those blades. You kind of push your chest out a bit as you pull that arm back. If you have a mirror, it's really helpful to work out in front of like a full body mirror. So you can really check your form because you may not think you have those shoulder blades up, but I guarantee most of you probably do. Shoulder blades down. Five seconds. One more. All right, so you may be feeling that shoulder as well. We got some rear delt going on too. Big exhale. Hard up. Smile on your face. This is so fun. <laughs> 
break when you need it. Oh, my shoulders are dying, so I'm just gonna take a quick break. Back into it. I don't know who decided that breaks were a bad thing. Breaks can be very helpful, especially with a video like this where it's meant to grow with you. Because my goal is that you can't do all this through the very first time. I want you to be able to have to come back to it and keep working at it so that you can see your progress and how much strength that you've gotten from doing these videos, as well as just having a library you can always go to. One thing I hated was getting those videos and then, you know, I'd do them for a month and then I couldn't do them anymore because they were just so easy at that point in time. So I wanted to create something for everybody that's, that's able to grow with you, right? You just use a stronger band. Oh. Okay, we have one more time through. Oh, my shoulders are very loud about that. Here we go. Squeeze those blades. Squeeze those blades. Now, if you have weights, I'm sorry, I'm really bad at cueing you here <laughs> for weights. If you have weights, you're gonna do a rear fly, right? You can do that seated, you can do it standing. <sighs> Shovel blades down. <sighs> Tuck your toe, tummy tight, soft knees. Don't forget about the rest of the body. Get your stabilizer. <sighs> okay, guys, one more time. Oh, man. Palms face away, shoulder blades down. Pull, pull, pull. Now you can be singing to your music. Your heart rate should be enough right now that you can sing to your music. Unless you have neighbors. If you have close neighbors, like you're in an apartment or something, you may, you may want to still lip sync. One more. Goodness gracious, yes, ouch. All right, let me preview. A little sip of water first. Make sure you hydrate, make sure it's a sip, not a gulp. Okay, so we're gonna take alternating lunge backs. Okay, arms go forward as those legs go back. Okay, and then we have the good old fashioned modified jacks. Okay, I tend, I tend to when I wear this band to kind of only do half arms, but it doesn't matter. Okay, ready? Legs are back, arms go forward. All right, so remember, this is back to that cardio. So I really want you to think about moving. If you don't like this move, pick a different one. Do something else. Just do it for the same amount of time we're doing it. And make sure it brings that heart rate up. You should be able to sing or speak a long sentence. A couple words, that's about it. All right, so these can be modified jacks or full. Here we go. Bring those arms all the way up if you can. I had to think about it. Reach those legs out. Breathe. Pull the air to the bottom of the lungs. Take big gulps of air. Good, keep it going, reach that leg out. Reach, reach, reach. Here we go. Boom, boom. Really reach those arms out. Pull those elbows back in. Maybe if you're done, maybe you're right here. If you have that, uh, the full, you're doing jumps. Instead of these step backs. It's hard to think. <laughs> Four, three, two. And again, jacks. Bend knees if you're doing these modified. Soft knees. Even if you're doing full, always land with soft knees. You don't want to land straight legged. Let the lower body, all of it, absorb the energy, not just the knees. Breathe. Okay. Lunge back. We're halfway. Breathe. Both 
schön sind jetzt. Four. All right. Jabs. Just enough to catch your breath. That's about it. Take longer if you need it. Maybe instead of doing four rounds, you do three rounds. Maybe you do three and a half. Work through it. Push yourself. But listen to that body. Deep breaths. Come on, you can do this. And again, if you have a group of friends that want to get together and exercise, I highly recommend that. Studies show that the more people you have in your little group to work out with, the more successful you all are. So grab some friends and do these together. Five seconds. Begin. Breathe. Breathe, reach, reach. Take it to the shoulder. You're going to take that other hand flat, and all we're doing is pressing away, coming back. I want you to keep tension, so let me turn sideways. So when you come down, I don't want you to come and snap that hand all the way back. It's down, it's slow, there's still tension. Press, slow, there's still tension. Okay? We want to keep the tension on there. So, left hand to the shoulder, we're going to work with that right. Press. Tension, tension, big exhale on the pressing straight. You have soft knees, tailbone's tucked, tummy is tight, tailbone's just slightly tucked. I just want you to keep that uh, tummy in, right? And that helps you if you tuck that tailbone just a little bit. You're up nice and tall. You're pulling your shoulder blades together. You're lifting that heart, catching your breath. And we're gonna switch. Okay, so right's up at the shoulder now, at the left shoulder. Press, halfway. For me, it's halfway. It may not be there for you. It may be in a different spot, but find it. Press, I want you to feel the back of the arm, your triceps. Still lifted. Just breathe. Three, two, one. Oh, good. Okay. Here we go. Press big exhale. Inhale. Okay, so this is the time when you can decide, is this too easy for me? Do I need something heavier? You should be feeling the triceps by now. You should be really having to push that arm to get it mostly straight. Of course, there's always just a little bend. We never lock out our joints. So if you need something heavier, if this is just so easy, I want you to grab a different band right now. Just pause it, grab a different band, get set up, and then hit play. That's the beauty of being able to do it in your own home and not in class with me. You can just pause it anytime you need to and grab a different weight. So because you can do that, I always recommend you start a little heavier than you think you can. I have found over the years with my clients that they are stronger than they think they are. And that's why I keep such detailed notes because a lot of times I'll hand them weight and they're like, what, I can never do that. 
And then at the end, they see that they can. So I recommend you start a little heavier than you think because you can always change it. It's not forever, right? It's not permanent. It's not a committed relationship. You can change that way at any time you want. Shoulders down. Press, press, soft knees. Tummy tight, tailbone slightly tight, so you're squeezing those glutes. Ten seconds. Just breathe. Sing along to that music. And press. Exhale. Inhale. Keeping those shoulders down. Just focus on pressing, slowly release. Press. And it's okay if you can see mine, you probably can't. But my arm is jiggling on the way back. It's like a stutter. <laughs> That's good. That's a good thing. You're getting into that muscle. That's what we want. I'm holding my arm out. I think I'm just trying to show you the jiggle. Don't do that. Keep that elbow in. <laughs> elbow stays in. Press that palm away. Well, y'all are just going to have growing pains with me. I apologize. <laughs> Shoulders down. Good. Keep pressing. You got this. We're going to have those nice, beautiful, sculpted arms. They're going to be toned. They're going to look great in those t-shirts and swimsuits release. Oh. Sleeveless. I wear a lot of sleeveless this time of year. Last one. Oh, elbow in. I did it again. See? <laughs> Keep your elbow in, Holly. Press, release. Press, release. You gotta laugh at yourself, guys. Life is full of enough serious stuff. Don't take yourself too seriously. Just laugh. It's good for your health anyway. Press, release. Press, release, one more. Oh, excellent, shake that out. Ooh, I'm gonna fill out one more. Probably by tonight, as a matter of fact. A little drink of water, I'll preview what you're gonna do next so that you can have a little longer break. Okay, oops, whatever, doesn't matter. Okay, Heisman's. Whoop, whoop. So it's balance. Knee up, knee up. And again, this is low, knee up, low, knee up. All right, next one, alternating split squats. All right, so this is as fast as you, as you can possibly go, right? So we're not worried too much about this big, huge drop, but I do want you to dip down. So if you're doing full, it's that one, that version. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to go off this again because I don't want it to slide. So side, knee up. Tummy's tight. As far as you can go. As far as you can go. Every time. Make those hips work. Resist that band. And that all brings that heart rate up. Knee up. Knee up straight up. Just my strap here. Split squats. Fast as you can. Be safe. You're back in that heel, sinking the knee straight down. We're not dropping the chest at all. Head and chest up. Kind of leaning back into that back leg a little bit. Ten seconds. Should feel the front of the thighs, and the quads, especially around the knee. Just finding that spot, reaching for it. Abs tight. This is too much. Slow. Okay. 
can also make a big, huge leap, taking both feet off the floor if you want. Y'all are gonna hate me tomorrow. You're gonna get hate mail because your hips and glutes are gonna be sore. That's fine, send it, bring it. Breathe. Sounds kind of silly to remind you to breathe, but you'd be surprised at how many people hold their breath or breathe very shallow during cardio exercise. All right, here we go. Knee up. as you need it. Maybe change exercises if this is just too much. Maybe drop that band. <sighs> Lots of options. 10 seconds. <sighs> oh boy. <sighs> Drop. <sighs> Are you breathing? Cussing at me. That's good. That means I'm working hard. <sighs> Breathe. Smile on your face. Changing your body. Getting healthier. <sighs> Blasting some body fat. Watch the wrist. This happens a lot. I don't want that flat palm. Bring the fingertips to your chin. Fingertips to your chin, okay? Here we go. I have a medium band. Flat back, tummy tight. That elbow is glued into that leg. Good, breathe. Big exhale. Remember, we're not getting rid of that pressure in the band, right? It's a little bit of pressure right there. So we're working this muscle, biceps muscle. All right, quick, quick, quick. Flat, begin. Now you can also take this hand and kind of hold that elbow down. I don't like doing that, so I'm not gonna. Fingertips to chin, shoulder blades down, keep the shoulders out of the ears. Little tension, little tension. When I'm not paying attention, I notice I drop it all the way down. So focus. Remember, we're not after perfection. We're 
after your perfect for today, whatever that is. Again, tummy's tight, shoulders are down, your back is flat, you're pushing that chest out, which will help you maintain that nice flat back. We don't want those rounded shoulders. should be down enough now that you can go back to singing your songs. We're speaking in a more full sentence. You probably notice I talk a lot more during this section than the cardio section. <laughs> Here we go. Whoops. Good. Just stop and adjust anytime you need to. This is one of the reasons why it's so important to inspect your band before you begin using it. Because if you have a tear or something and you, and you stretch it to this extreme, you really can tear it and injure yourself. It'll just snap. It is a rubber band after all. One more. Ugh. Switch. All right, remember fingertips to chin. Flat back, abs tight, fingertips to chin. So obviously if you have weights, you're just doing a bicep curl. Down. You should be feeling those biceps. If you're not, make sure that band is heavy enough and that you're keeping resistance. I'm starting to slow down. That's how you know you're hitting it. Switch. You want to feel that burn. Big exhale up. Relaxed. Oh. Breathe through it. Maybe take a little extra break. Release. Switch. Begin. extra breaks if you need to because I want that form good as soon as your form starts to go and you can't complete the rep without monkeying with your form then you know you need a break just listen to that body it really is that easy Ugh, gotta be honest with yourself all right off to the side you don't need this chair anymore Oh, I do need that chair to put my band back on though. Okay guys, last cardio. Let's see if we can get this finished here. Oh. Alrighty, move this out of the way. Pop of water. All right, here we go. Last time, these are rocket squats. One, two, three. Up on your toes, reaching for the ceiling. Of course, listen to your body, do what you can. Wide squat, touchdown. Squat, squat. So touch down, you really are aiming for the floor, but if you're tight today or those hips just don't work like that, then it's just about the movement, remember. Just about the movement. Okay, here we go. All right, we got this. One, two, staying in the heels, all the way up. Good squat for me. Tummy tight, push your butt back. One, two, three, up, one, Two, three, up, one, two, three. Shoulder blades down on that reach. 10 seconds. Two, three, reach. Okay. So this is the one that's gonna be the tough one. 
for me. Okay, reach down, reach down. Fast as you can. I want you to keep that head and chest up, sitting back in the heels, reaching toward the floor. If you can touch the floor, please do. But not with rounding, right? I don't want this. Okay, head and chest up. stretch. So focus. Try to push through. Come on. Oh. All right, we're going to take this off. Come on, baby. All the way down. All right, we're done. We're done with that one. Oh. My legs never want to see that band again. Okay. So in this one, I'm going to grab two different bands. I'm gonna grab my light and my medium. So have a lighter one nearby. Remember, it's a quick transition, okay? So for this first one, we're gonna do overhead lat pull down. So it's gonna be here, we're taking it to the front of the body. Second one, and again, you can do lat rows. Maybe change the grip to make it different. These ones. Palms of the hands face out, we're gonna squeeze, bring it together. Okay, working the shoulders. All right, here we go. 
fast, fast. Palms out, shoulder blades down, pull it, release. I want this slow and controlled on the down and back up. Shoulder blades down, 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 shoulder blades down, down, down. Show you from the back. Elbows to the sides. 10 seconds. Tuck your tailbone, tummy tight. Oh, yes. Feeling all those muscles that are tired already. Quick switch. Hands behind. Back of the hands point out. Arms stay straight, chest stays lifted. You tend to round here. Maybe two is too much. You can go right and left, and then maybe double, or just do right and left. So if you're gonna do these with weights, I would do a side lateral shoulder raise, which is this one right here. All right, palms out. Bring it in, tuck your tailbone, soft knees, tummy tight, right, we have that good, stable base. Legs should be hip width or wider. If you wanna work the legs, you can do this while you do a wall sit. Back against the wall, hold a squat. That'll be for another video. <laughs> Chill legs down. One more, one more, switch. the one where we could have used a little extra time in between, but it's all right. We'll just do the best we can. My arms are so tired right now anyway. Five. Head up. Space between your chin and chest. Oh man. That one. That one's rough. Shoulder blades down. So this one, you could be feeling in a lot of places, back, shoulders, triceps. Just depends on which one is tired right now. So for me, I'm really feeling it in my triceps and shoulders. I need a break because I can feel my shoulders starting to draw up. So if you need to change that band, you can to something a little lighter. Maybe the same one we're using back here. Heart lifts, soft knees, tailbone tuck, tummy tight, squeeze those cheeks. Oh man, I tell you that's rough. Stay with me, I'm trying to focus here. So I apologize, I'll try to keep talking. Press out. Palms away, shoulders down, elbows to your sides. Maybe start to slow it down. Maybe go a little lighter instead. Don't be afraid to change that, constantly adjust. <laughs> Ooh. Breathe. Oh, this is a good one. One more. Oh, switch. Again, palms away, release. Not palms away, the back of your hands away. So medium or light band, we're gonna to go to the floor. Right down. 
I have to take my kiddo to go pick up a band instrument. So I need to finish up these abs here. Okay, around the ankle, hands next to the body. We're going to do circles one way, and then you're gonna move and do it the other way. You can do these with a crunch if you'd like, right? Second one, we're gonna take that band to the top of the shoe, and we're gonna do bicycles. Okay, that one is super, that one really gets my abs. It's really super crazy hard. All right, here we go. And drop it down. And now the other side. So again, you can be up crunched here, or maybe you'll just do that every once in a while. Tummy's tight. I want you to think really about these leg circles. That's really more important to me than that you're up in that crunch because I want it to be nice and big. Tummy's tight, your abs are trying to stabilize those hips. All right, place that band underneath those arches. Extend one straight, then the other. All right, so it's chest to the knee, not the elbow to the knee, okay? So elbows stay back, and it's chest. You want to modify, it's up. You also do not have to use the band on either one of these. Belly button tight, pull those abs in. Okay, here we go. Try to start the other direction that you did last time. If you don't know, it's opposite of the way you just tried to go. <laughs> so I'm right-handed, I tend to always start right-sided. So I started left. It doesn't truly matter that much. Just try to be aware of it next time. Keep those abs in. That low back always makes contact with that floor. Don't ever let it come up. Okay, tune in. Oh boy. Remember, if you're taking breaks whenever you need to. Maybe you can only get through a couple rounds of this. Maybe just one. Work with it. Keep after, keep doing the routine. And you'll get stronger. Ten seconds. Four. Oh, boy. It's getting harder to talk. Now I'm going to my right. All right, so legs, they don't have to be straight. You can see mine were just bent. As I get tired, especially through these hips, I'll tend to bend and that's okay because remember the work is right here. It's not through here. So if you need to, you can bend them. Keep that tummy pulled in tight. We're trying to make nice flat abs not domed abs. So pull those abs in. Oh y'all, this one's killing me. I just struggle. All right, here we go, left. Making circles in the sky. All right, breathe. Is your belly button pulled in? Is your low back making contact? Try to keep those shoulders relaxed too. No tensing through the shoulders. Keep everything in the upper body relaxed. Okay. Here we go. This is it. Oh, I just need a break. I started reaching with my elbows. Reach with your chest.
10 seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, perfect. Knees into the chest. And release that band. Okay. Slowly come on up. Okay, there will be no cool down today. I have to run off. I'm sure y'all have things to get to too, but please make sure you stretch out whether you're doing a yoga class or just doing some stretches. You wanna stretch those legs, especially the hips and especially through that upper body. I want you to have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm proud of you. You're stronger today. Have a great day.